Hello, my lovely people. What's up with you? How are you doing today? I hope you are bubbling well. Welcome to my tutorial for today. If you are new, this is the Lady Woman. Feel free to subscribe and tap on the notification bell beside the subscribe button. To my existing subscribers, thank you so much for believing in me. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for sharing my videos. Thank you also for commenting. I really do appreciate all. So today's tutorial, we're going to be making a fitted short dress. And I have here three yards of this fabric. That's what we're going to be using for the tutorial, okay? And also this lace fabric is going to be at the center front, right? The hand is going to be a puff circle sleeve. Okay, so quickly, let's just get to the cutting table and move right ahead. So we are cutting the lower part first of all. As usual, we are going to be folding into two. And then into two again, making it into four. I'll be leaving a zipper allowance of about two inches. Length is 26. I'll add 2 inches extra, leaving it at 28 inches. So, this is now our waistline, hip line 9 inches below the waistline. Waist is 30 into 4 is 7.5 plus 3 inches. One is for that, then two for sewing allowance. Hip is 37 into 4 is 9 and quarter. 9 and quarter plus 2 inches. So I'm connecting the waist to the hip. And then I'll take the hip measurements down. Eleven and quarter. Okay. So this is eleven and quarter just at the edge here. As you can see here. But at this lower part. I'm moving by one and a half inches. Connect it to the hip measurement and then cut it out. Matching the actual length. Okay. So straight to the upper part of the bodies. So for the front, here we go. Half length is 16 inches. I'm adding just one inch to it. Shoulder is 16 also. One inch here for shoulder slope. Three here also for shoulder slope. Okay. 
at this point i'm coming down by three inches this is optional yours can be two it can be four okay it can be one and a half self my shoulder to bust is 10 inches i'll add half inch to it 10 and a half I'm coming down as usual by three inches and also go up by three inches okay bust point to bust point is eight inches plus see my allowance of quarter of an inch so i'm measuring four and quarter if your sewing allowance is half you use half mine is quarter that's why i'm measuring four and quarter I'm going to go ahead and notch these three points. Okay. So for the side, here we go. As usual, I'm placing this one on a fresh fabric. Like I will always say, you make sure you have up to three inches on this side. Okay. First, you are tracing out this, this curve. And then you mark the notch points. I'll be using armhole of eight inches okay. now I'll place my bust measurement bust measurement is 36 divided into 4 is 9 I'm placing the bust measurement on the center notch 9 inches like I'll always say, if you feel like to put your allowance good for you, I'll use one and a half inches allowance. If you will not put, the bulge at this side is going to form the allowance. But you must put allowance at the waist. Waist is 30 divided into 4 will give us 7.5. Allowance of two and a half inches. Okay. Now here, I'll measure two and a half inches. That's because the bust is less than forty, and then connect it to the under bust, and then to this point. So these are the two sides. I'll cut the wooden and also the lining for them. And then for the back, with zipper allowance of two inches also. Half length is 16 inches. 
shoulder is 16 also. One inch down for shoulder slope. This is also three inches. And then eight inches armhole depth. Bust measurement is 36 divided into 49. Allowance of 2 inches. Waist is 30 divided into 4 is 7.5. Allowance of 3 inches. Don't forget 1 inch is for that. Neck width is three and a half inches. Neck depth is two inches. This is for the back. We'll still come to the front neckline. Let's not forget neck width three and a half. Okay, so I'll cut the lining for all of them so for the center for this design at the center i'm going to be using this to cut it it's going to have a similar shape with this center front first of all so i'll cut this one first so like we now have it right like this I will just attach this lace fabric against my Ankara fabric and then cut out the neckline. Remember for the back, the neck neck width was a three and a half inches. So I'm going to maintain the three and a half inches for the front. And then the neck volume will now be four and a half inches. Okay. So for the lower part, this is how we are going to be adding the lace fabric. Because I don't have much of it anymore, I could have still expanded it. But because I don't have much of it, that's why I left it this way. Okay. Remember for our upper part, we have 8 inches here. That is bust nipple to nipple that's eight inches okay that is what we have at this upper part so here also is eight inches i hope you see it it's eight inches all right but for this middle point where we have our hip line i just expanded it a little bit a little bit i just gave it a slight curve okay so that it doesn't have to appear straight i hope you get it okay so here is eight inches the hip side is nine inches and then the lower side is a little bit slimmer than even the waist line i hope you get it you see this place is slimmer than the waist okay so if you like you can do yours like this if you like you can still use eight inches to end it at this lower side so i'm going to carefully cut this to accommodate this very space but if you have larger lace fabric you can still make the hip to be wider than nine inches you can make yours 10 inches so that it is it is so obvious i hope you understand all right so i'll carefully cut this one to be able to cover this place i just showed you so before lining this lower part, I'll first of all, after cutting this, 
I will attach it here, okay? Before I now line this skirt part, I hope you get it. Now the lining has been done, okay? Now you can see the lace, the way I placed it. You have to be careful here so that the upper part and the lower part will correspond perfectly with each other. Okay? I hope you see mine. It's the same thing. So I will just carefully insert my dart here and here. Okay? So I am moving only this side of the fabric to insert my dart like this. I hope you understand. I'll just need to move this side of the fabric, these two ends, this way, to insert my dart so that the line will correspond with the upper part. Okay. Now, so now for the circle puff sleeve, I'll be putting the two sleeves at the same time. So I'll be folding two fabrics together. I hope you see it. Okay. You fold the first one. Now this is going to form my length. Okay. 13 and a half inches. So I'll fold again. So that you have 13 and a half inches across this way. 13 and a half inches. This other side. So since 13 and a half is my length, I'll just measure it round. So here is 13 and a half inches, I'll remove the excesses. So we have our circle sleeve cut out as you can see it. I also notched these two ends, okay? And then I marked the midpoint, okay? So when you open it up, it's going to give you a semi-circle and then a full circle, okay? This is our midpoint. Okay. My armhole is eight inches into two is sixteen inches, and the radius is two point six approximately. So I'll measure 2.6 at one end. This is what I need. 2.6. So now I'll measure 2.6 from this point, not this midpoint. The reason we are doing it is so that the upper sleeve and the lower sleeve will be of equal length okay this is what i mean 2.6 2.6 and i'll keep at it until i've covered the whole space okay Okay, so I'll now cut this circle off.
okay so this is the upper part of the sleeve and this is the lower part of the sleeve so here is the sleeve I've also lined it please don't forget to notch the underarm hole area please don't forget that's the lower part so that it will correspond with the joining at the under arm hole okay when you notch here you notch this other side all right so now having lined it you can see i made a marking on it sincerely speaking to fold a circle is not always easy most times it comes out very very rough okay that's why i'm going to be doing this this way instead of to start folding this way and then keep moving around i decided having made this line here i'm going to run my stitch around along this line okay at one point i'm going to make an opening that's why i'm going to pass my elastic i hope you understand it so that when you turn it over everything is smooth all right the reason i did it is because i don't want a situation whereby when you are folding the circle it becomes rough i hope you understand since this is not a stretchy fabric okay so i'll go to the machine now and make my stitch along this marked line okay i'll also join the upper part and the lower part together of that of the front and the back with the joining done now as you can see like i said you can see these two points are at the same level okay this is just so your work will be neat so the next thing will be to join the two back together and insert the zip and as usual i'll be going down by about six or seven inches below the waistline okay here or six inches it depends on how you want it either six or seven inches my zipper allowance was two inches initially but after the lining we have to assume it's about one and a half inches so i'm going to take the one and a half inches and close it down starting from this point to about 10 inches so i'm closing from here to here so that this place forms the slit i hope you get that when i do that i will then attach the zip and also for the sleeve, this is what we have. I've made the stitch. I hope you can see it. So I'll just need to open one part. Okay? I'll just open, say, this point. This is where I'm going to now pass my elastic all around. Okay? You have to consider the measurement of the arm okay when you are passing this elastic when you are cutting it so that you know how many inches you intend to use so i will also pass the elastic join the zip so that what you have left will be to attach the sleeve to the armhole and then close the two sides using the body measurements okay we have the zip inserted and also the slit okay and also we have the sleeve i hope you see that yours can be longer than mine so that it will curve very very well you see the way mine is yours can be longer so that it will just give you a very nice comfortable curve underneath all right also you see where i made the cut I also joined the elastic after passing it round I had to join the two ends together okay 
don't bother about closing the opening here because it is just an insignificant opening that when you just shift everything will just be hidden so it doesn't show at all all right so next is just to join the two sides of our dress using my body measurement i'll go to the machine join the two sides and then insert the sleeve let's not forget i said we should not forget to make a notch here at the two sides of the sleeve here is the longer side you see the notch there i hope you see it this is the shorter side so this is supposed to fall under the armhole area i hope you understand at the armpit okay assuming i've joined these two now so you understand what i'm saying assuming i've joined these two at this place this shorter part is going to fall at this edge okay where you have the joining okay so that this longer one will now be on top of the shoulder I hope it's clear enough so i'll go ahead and get it done and that will be the end of the tutorial and here we are with the end result of our tutorial for today hope you can see the sleeve assuming it were longer it would have folded very very well Okay, now also you look at this place, you see it is smooth. Assuming we didn't do it this way, you find out that this place will now be rough. Okay. Thank you for staying with me till the end. And I urge you to please try this. It's actually simple, very simple to make. Till we get to meet in my tutorial next. Don't forget, I will always love you for loving me. Take very good care of yourself. Stay safe. If you are yet to subscribe, please hit the red icon to subscribe and also touch on the notification bell so that when I upload, you get notifications. And don't always forget, be nice to someone close to you. Take care of yourself and bye.